Hi, I'm Charlie. Welcome to I Believe Today. <laughs> so we are, I'm excited to have Dom and Charlie Fusco. They produce this program. And I'm so happy to have Gay Ann Peterson, my dear friend here. Uh, we are family, aren't we? We yes. are indeed. Familia. We are family. We are Familia. Family. Yes. Yeah. An Italian. Yeah. Yes. Uh, uh, you, you're from Italy. Well, you're from Italy and we in in the family family situation and we are from Appalachia. Oh yeah. I'm from North Carolina. <laughs> well, yeah. She, we're, from, we're, she's a flatlander. We're we're ridge runners. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> she's from Knoxville and I was born in Wilkesboro, North Carolina, about 30 minutes from Boone, yes. right in the mountains. Yes. So, uh, but we are going to do something very unusual today. We've been taping today programs for I believe and but we're going to do something people have written down questions people have written down subject matters and we have no idea what they are so they were put in this basket and we're going to open them for the first time honestly we have no idea what they are and either they're a subject matter or a question what would be fun is if we decided who was going to answer first oh. before we open it. Can I phone a friend? <laughs> <laughs> what? I'm Share this. Too. <laughs> Share this on your page. It's going to be so good. 1-800 so, Bible Scholar. So female. let's start with Gay Ann. Okay. Oh, oh, no. So, I don't want, I so whoever, uh, Charlie, you op you pick the first one and see if you want to give that to Gay Ann. All right. Oh, here we go. <laughs> ah. No, 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 no. Oh, you I, go. I, yeah, I yeah. see. Okay. What age can a child be saved? Oh, that's a good one. I was four years old when I accepted Jesus as my savior. I can remember where I was. I can remember what I was wearing. And I remember tears streaming down my face. Mm. So I think the age of accountability and the age that a child can be saved varies depending on the maturity level of the child. Mm -hmm. I fully understood. Although I didn't know all the repercussions and ramifications, I knew that Jesus loved me and he died for me and I accepted him as my savior at Aww. four. I was 10, mm -hmm. I was 10 years old and I went to a Billy Graham crusade and I was the first one up, I'm pretty sure. And my parents said, no, no, you're too young, you know. And my dad said, well, maybe we should go see our pastor because we'd gone with the church group. So we went over and he asked me two or three questions and he said, I think she knows him better than we do. Mm -hmm. Because God had placed it deep in my yes. heart and I was ready to accept yes. at that age. You know, I think that we, we maybe sometimes don't put enough importance on witnessing to children. Exactly. Because there's a study, I, I forgot the exact numbers, but it, it, the, the percentage rate of people who served God all their lives, throughout their life, was so much higher when they came to know the Lord as a child. Yes. Mm -hmm. And I think there's something about about raising a child. Scripture says, Proverbs 22, 6, yes. train up a child in the way they should go. Yes. And when they're old, they won't depart from it. Exactly. So train them up when they're children in the ways yes. of the Lord. They may wander for a while, but when they're old, they, they won't exactly. depart from what you taught them. That's when right. Did, when did you get saved? Well, you know, my mom is here and... Um, uh, my biological father drowned when he was 18, and my mother was three months pregnant with me. So I, I was without a father for the first six years of my life. Then when I was six, she married a Pentecostal pastor. And when I was seven, he adopted me, and my name became Jeff Ferguson. So I don't remember, I, we grew up next door to sure. the church in the parsonage. I don't remember a conversion moment. But in the middle of the night, when I was 12 years old, God filled me with his spirit. I received the baptism of the Holy Spirit when my dad laid his hand on me and prayed for me. Mm -hmm. That transformed my life. Yes. I recorded my first album the following year at age 13 and wow. started traveling and ministering. Instead of getting um, uh, sports equipment or clothes for gifts, I got books and I got, uh, from my mom and dad, I got sound equipment to help me with my singing. Um, and traveling, oh, I got things like that. I oh, got a, cool. my, my first car was a 55 Chevy, but then my mom and dad helped me purchase a car with money I had saved, a van, so I could travel. Oh, so wow. every vehicle I purchased early on was for vehicles ministry. That, for ministry, oh. always. 
So I don't remember a conversion moment as a child, but I remember receiving the baptism of the Holy Spirit. Mm -hmm. That might have been it. I'm sure I would have gone to heaven had I died before then. Yeah, sure. But um, but I but that's what I remember. That's what transformed my life. Mm -hmm. We don't need to put a limit on on that either. Mm -mm. Receiving the baptism of the Holy Spirit. How old were you? Six years old. You were six. Mm -hmm. My six. daughter was five. Mm -hmm. In the van, she started speaking in tongues. Mm -hmm. Wow! Yes. I got saved at thirty. But then I started shaving in the third grade, so. <laughs> I don't know. Those Italians and that Mediterranean yes, thing. Yes, that's right. Yes. Men and women. That's I, right. Exactly. I, I did not like that at all. Yes. For shame on you. By the way, I'm not, I was not born in, Ita in Italy. I was no. no, 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 right. Yeah. Yeah. But you're very Italian. Yes. Dominica Fusco. All right. So, oh, oh speaking of Italian. So, um, no more jokes. No, it's not a joke. Not a joke. So th this, uh, this week, yesterday, we, um, officiate, Dawn and I officiated the funeral. That was of, amazing. Uh, you were there. That's yes, right. Yes, it was amazing. Good oh, Italian wow. family. Good Unbelievable. Italian family. They all yes. serve the Lord. Yes. And one of them is a judge. One of them, I mean, it's a, just a beautiful, beautiful family. They came in from around the country to be here. But it was so funny because we were, they were very Italian, born in, in Sicily. Sicily. Yes, yes. Yeah, and an arranged marriage. Yes. And he came here to get her, and she had come from Sicily. Uh -huh. So they're the, from the same part of central Sicily. Wow. So, but anyway, so uh, uh, when he first had his heart attack and he was in the hospital, I would say last part of November, or December maybe, Dawn and I went to, well, I went to see him by myself. Mm -hmm. And I went to the hospital in Maryland, the daughter a few years younger than me, uh, he said he was 79, and, and Frank on the tubes in the bed, and his little Italian wife, Dolores, you know Dolores, yes. was there. Yes, sir. And I walked in, and I don't know what it is, but there's something about feet. There's a, when, I, when, I, when I walk into a hospital room or I'm praying for someone, I grab their feet. So there he was, little Frank, he was little, you know, there he was with the tubes and Marilyn, his daughter and his wife, uh, Dolores. And I went in there and they were so glad to see me and I just grabbed his feet. He shot up in the bed with those tubes. It was like, no. <laughs> and Marilyn was like, oh. And Dolores said, Dolores said, Nata the Vita. So <laughs> he's extremely ticklish. Oh my. Oh my. I gotta tell you something, by the way. Some friend of mine said one time, I gotta tell you, I gotta, you know, he says, I've got an Italian joke. And I said to him, Well, you know I'm Italian. There was a pause, and he said, In that case, I'll tell it a lot slower. <laughs> oh! <laughs> All right, so uh, um, let's see. Uh, Gay Ann, mm -hmm. why don't you pick one for Charlie? Okay. We don't know what they are. People wrote these down. What does it mean to have God's DNA? Ooh. That's good. Thank you so much for being a part of this program today. You know, we have Bungalow Worship, our beautiful gathering right here at the Bungalow of worshipers, a band, singers. You turn bones into armies. We have The Vow, our dynamic ministry to 50 and over right here in Orlando. Tabitha's ministry our victorious ministry for widows. Then we have Jeff Ferguson Ministries, which is our daily I Believe program every day at 1 p.m. on YouTube or Facebook, different social media platforms. Thank you for supporting this ministry. This is a healing place. This is a healing place.